Well, good morning, folks. I'm out here with Mama Sue and Boomdog. This is just going to be a fun trip today because it's going to be a high of 57 mm -hmm. today, and that's unusual for this time of year. Uh, we're going to be targeting bluegill, and red ear sunfish, and hopefully one of my favorite little panfish to catch is um, what 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 was it? Pumpkin seed. We don't have many here in the Tennessee River. I don't catch many, but when I do, I'm proud of it. Uh, they're a beautiful little panfish. But what it is, I found an area here that I fished before. It's in about 15 feet of water. We have some uh, sunken logs. Uh, they're waterlogged, and they're kind of hung on a break line right here. And uh, what happens, these fish accumulate around structure like this here on the Tennessee River. Uh, in the winter, I fish for these fish anywhere from between 15 to 20 feet deep. Seems to be a good staging area for these panfish. And today we're going to be fishing with Perry Pippinger squirrel tail jig. And it's uh, made out of squirrel tail right here. And it has a size six sickle hook and it's 164th of an ounce, by the way. And Lisa's rod is going to be rigged with two pound test line, mono. Uh, and mine, well, I'm going to use one pound test. I'm sort of, really, I'm taking a chance. These are pretty good sized fish. Uh, gosh, they're a lot bigger than your hand. And every once in a while, you'll catch a Jim Dandy shell cracker also known as red ear sunfish but we're just going to come out here and have fun today stick with us let me rig this up for mama lisa sue commonly known as mama sue and uh i've cut some night crawlers in half right here uh this is what i've been doing is taking this squirrel tail jig and just hooking it like this. It looks like an awful big bait, but now there's some big red ears in here and bluegill. And that's what we're doing. We're letting it go to the bottom. Here you go, Lisa. Let me adjust you drag. That drag's about right. Eh, a little tighter. Okay, and then we'll get on her hole right here. I'm gonna do the same thing right here. Boom dogs all up in my way, but that's okay. Oh, we love that boom dog. <sighs> this is one pound test line. I'm taking a chance here. It's a cadence reel with a cadence rod. It's a six foot light moderate. And what I'll have to do is when I get bit is just reel. I can't set the hook, not with this rod. It's a real wimpy, but a little bit stiff. So I'm just gonna reel. But now Lisa's got two pound lines. She can actually set the hook or just reel. These are real sharp quality hooks that Mr. Perry uses. And uh, squirrel tail jigs are, are hard to come by, folks. I love to use these jigs right here, especially in the springtime. Now, I don't use a night crawler or nothing, just the jig itself. Let's look at this right here in the water. I've got half a night crawler on. Now, watch it as it falls y'all see that it falls about it takes it about a second and a half to fall a foot and here i am and we're in 15 feet of water will make us a cast just anywhere out in here lisa it's a big log jam jammed up on that break line but I'm letting it go straight to the bottom. Now, as it's going to the bottom, I can expect to buy it anywhere from eight foot to the bottom. Because a lot of these fish are suspended. If I get a bite before I get to the bottom, it'll probably be a, a bluegill. But once I get on the bottom, then I'm, I'm expecting a red ear or a pumpkin seed. Now, I hope there's some in here today. And uh, once I make bottom contact, which I'm on the bottom now, what I'm going to do is just slide the bait towards me real slow. Kind of like if you was fishing with a uh, a worm 
but a lot slower, just little bitty movements. And then I'll let the bait settle and just stay in place for just a, a few seconds and then move it again. It's actually like working a plastic worm, but a lot slower. Yeah, <laughs> you probably got a big red ear. Now, go, uh, we're really, we're you not. Mm. Yeah, you got him. Let's try to get you out from around this. Is he fighting? My goodness. Woo wee, what a red ear. Now that's a good one. That's the kind right there that we're fishing for. And Mama Sue got him. Let me get right here and get him for you. Now with this two pound line, you can... Look at there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's a slam. go take your fish <laughs> it's a good one ain't it yes <laughs> let me unhook them for her. now they do fight don't they yes they do okay you gonna release him there we go I gotta get us out of this right here. I gotta get us on out in there where the fish are, boom dog. We ain't gonna catch there unless I do. You better not jump out there. There's some bobcats in here, boy. I don't know what I got. Lisa, I don't know what I got on this one pound line. Look at him. You know, I thought it was a limb. I thought it was a limb, but it's a fish. And here I am with one pound line, and I got a big one hooked. I don't know. I don't have no idea, but look. I know. <sighs> That's the only problem with fishing with light line. <gasps> what is that? What is it? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it come off. Did you see that? What was that? I, I don't know. <laughs> I know one thing. He was way too big to land with one pound line. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. I've never seen it. I, Before, honey. What was it? I don't know. It was black. Daddy don't know. It was a big one, wasn't it? Oh, my goodness. See? This is why this is a sport second to none. I thought I was one of them. Wait a minute, I got a fish on here, Lisa. <laughs> oh, it's a good one, too. I was going to get me a pickled egg, folks. We got a good one hooked right here. If it's a red ear, it's a big one. Oh, that one pound line. I love it. I just back reel. I don't depend on my drag. One pound line. Look here. My goodness, what a red ear, Lisa. Woo-wee. And that's a good one. He's just out here in open water. My little hole that I found don't have any fish in it. So now I'm looking for him out here in this open water. And I come across a, I don't know, either a rock or a stump and that fish bit it. But now here's a good one. Look at here. Oh my, my good. Oh my. That's a good one, ain't it? Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah, so they're just scattered out out here right now out in this deep water. That's a big one. We're well, gonna eat us a pickled egg, folks. I'm fixing to right now. Dude eggs. 
Look at everyone see. Wow. It's a good He's one. a big one. That's we don't want them to eat, do we, Mama? There he goes. All right, I'm gonna work with this open water out here and find uh, rocks and anything like that. That may be what it is. They're just scattered today. Whoop, Lisa, I got another bite. I can't tell how big he is. You got one too, ain't you? I believe we found them now. Got us a double right here, folks. <laughs> oh, I have got a big bluegill right here. I want you to look what a bluegill. That is a big bluegill. He didn't start fighting until I got him to the boat. You got a bluegill too. Look at there. They. Yours is too. Mine just a bluegill. Yours is just a good sized bluegill. Let's check them out. Right here. Hold yours up flat like that. Yeah. They're real pretty. They got a lot of purple in them. Light orange. Yeah. See how black their perculum is? Mm -hmm. Their gill flap. Ooh, that's a dandy. Let's let him go right here. Wow. Let him go. All right. Darn, let's catch another. They're over here on this point, honey. We're always catching. They ain't behind you. No, they're out. See, that's where you caught your fish, was right here. Look here. I done got a fish on here. Look here. Golly, day. Well, they all feel big on this little line. I'm fishing with sewing thread. Looks like a red ear. Pretty though. Golden. That's kind of the water color. If it was, you know, in Florida, they'd be more black. Their perculum right here would be more red instead of orange. It's the watercolor they're coming out of. Got a lot of yellow going back in there. There's one. Hmm. That one may be better than I think he is. Yeah, I believe we got a good one right here. Yeah, now there's a Jim Dandy shell cracker fish. Yeah. I caught some a little bit bigger. And this one this is a good one but there's some in here quite a bit bigger than this that's a big one ain't it? yes. <laughs> it's your turn mama sue yeah that's a big big red ear really that's too big to eat you want one half that size really be a lot better. Yeah. Go on back. All righty, folks. We're done fishing. Had a wonderful day. I want to give up. The reason we caught so many fish, by the way, is I wore my old fisherman shirt that Steve Kamalander sent to me. 
you know, drop it to the bottom where that big boy is lying. That's what we did. We caught some pretty good shell cracker or red ear sunfish and a bluegill. Had a fantastic day with my wife of 32 years. And I want to give a special shout out to Gus Herger. He's a singer from uh, Georgia. Real good singer. And he sent me two CDs right here. And a bargain. Watches this channel. Thank you, Gus. And I guess today the thing is be good to you woman and they'll be good to you because tonight we're going to get some pintos and cornbread. Oh, yeah. And uh, I love it. I love it. Growed up on it in here and I, for, for the rest of you okay hey. go fishing when you can but call this good